Hello, uh, Governor, Commissioners, thank you so much for, for making it out, and thanks for taking time to visit some of the businesses in Somerset County. I appreciate it. Uh, one of the things I, I, I thought was very crucial from the State of the State address was uh, energy costs and, and how vital that is in keeping us competitive uh, with other states. And I didn't know if, Governor, you could just take a second and kind of hit on a couple of those key points because I think everyone needs to realize what, what dire need we are, are, are in of having alternative energy. Absolutely. And it's, uh, we've heard it about it quite a bit today. <laughs> uh, quite frankly, every business that I go into, I've been hearing it. Energy cost, particularly, well, we all know the cost of oil, so that's why there's a big move and a lot of discussion about natural gas, because that's a, another fossil fuel, a lot less expensive. We are very much working in, down that path. We believe, particularly those in the paper industry, are very sensitive to oil prices. They're looking for natural gas or compressed natural gas, so, so we are working in those areas. I think that that's going to be resolved. I think this year is going to be a big year for that, that whole process. Electricity in the state of Maine. Electricity in the state of Maine, we are the 12th highest cost electricity in the country. We used to be 42nd in the country. We've dropped to 30th, but we're still, uh, I mean, we used to be 42% above the national average, average. We've dropped to 30% above the national average, but we are still 12th highest. Now, next month, uh, probably the best news that we've heard in a long time. Industrial and commercial rates will be dropping roughly two cents a kilowatt hour. <laughs> Residential are going to be dropping roughly one cent a kilowatt hour. Now, the configuration of the electricity bill is made up of three basic components. Generation cost. Right now, today, generation cost from ISO New England is roughly 3.9 cents. But we in Maine pay considerably more than that. The second is distribution and transmission. In Maine, we pay a significant amount roughly the four to five cent range. Then the government adds on, it's cut. And we add on another penny or two. Then we have stranded costs, which we're gonna be paying until 2018 on bad decisions that the state of Maine made in the 80s and 90s. Now, recently we went to Quebec. We can buy hydroelectricity out of Quebec, very inexpensively. They heat homes in Montreal at 4.36 cents, cents kilowatt hour delivered. That is transmission generation into the home. We are going to be, with the two cent drop that we talk about, we are going to be in the 13 cent range. Now, there's a couple of things we need to be... Recently, the main people did one of the smartest things that they've done in 50 years. There was a petition going around the state to get a, to get a referendum that was going to add, according to the PUC, add three cents to your electricity bill Roughly 40 to 80 million dollars a year till the year 2020. The people did not sign, not enough people signed the petition, so it gives them another year. Please, if you ever believe anything I tell you, is that is the biggest ripoff that this state's ever going to see. And what it's all about is to give the subsidy, is to have a pool of money for subsidies for the renewable energies that cannot be made commercially viable currently. The technology is clearly not there to be made economically viable at the present time. They include wind and solar and 
even Tidal at this point. Although Tidal technology has been around since 100, for 150 years, the new technologies, the, the new changes in that technology are now currently being tested in May. And if there's anyone that has a promise, that's one I'm very encouraged about. For the next 10 to 15 years, the state of Maine, whether we want to or not, have got to go with the most cost-effective energies available. That's the only way we have a chance or a prayer of convincing investors to bring money to Maine and invest in, in the 21st century jobs. You can say we're 12th highest in the country, and you can say we're the lowest in New England. But being the lowest in New England makes us the 12th highest in the country. So any way you look at it, Wyoming is delivering electricity. And this is the, ir the irony about electricity. I suffer from severe sinus problems, which is caused by the air we breathe. Maine does not create bad air. Maine, the bad air comes from Pennsylvania, Ohio, Wyoming, because they have coal plants. But their ash falls on our heads. And so everybody is concerned about the environment, but they do nothing about the problem of the other states. It's all here in Maine. So the irony is, we ought to go after the coal plants out west and buy cheap hydro from Quebec. 